Yo, what's up, Dota fam? Shinobi Rush is gonna be talking about callouts on Bannerfall. Banner, 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 banner. Banner, 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 banner. Bannerfall. All right. Um. So, Bannerfall is really cool map to go to because it's a symmetrical map, meaning that it's uh, <clears throat> it's the same side for each map, just reverse. So where your special is um, on the right side, it'll be the left side, and vice versa, you know. Bannerfall is actually a pretty fun map when it comes to trials. It's balanced. I love symmetrical maps, like Pantheon's a symmetrical map. But if you get a map like, let's say, Widow's Court, it's not really symmetrical. It's... It's very, very different. Somebody spawning up top, somebody spawning on the bottom. I know you can fight, but can you hold now, territory? spawning on the new monarchy side, or A side, I'm going to do all the callouts revolving around new monarchy, because it's the new monarchy side. It makes it a lot easier. Everybody has their own callouts, so if you don't agree with some of mine, then that's totally okay. Just use what works for you. And when it comes to me spawning here because I'm on alpha side and Bravo's team spawning near C, you may just say their spawn, you know, their initial. That always works too. So if somebody's like in the far back over here, you could say, you know, our initial one shot, for instance, or their initial. Now getting into it, I'm going to go ahead and call this right here. This is just going to be new bridge. So because new monarchy, I'm just going to go new. Instead of saying new monarchy bridge, it's just going to be new. New court, new special, new bridge. Same thing for dead orbit. I'm going to go dead bridge, dead special, etc. So this bridge right here, I, I just call new bridge. And then this area right here is in the back of new monarchy. So this one is one of the callouts that you won't really need to worry about too much. But if it comes up you could say um, new storage and it's you know in the back area in the storage area now over here that I call this new court because it's a courtyard new cat new cat cat for catwalk so new catwalk uh, new apartments this is just called apartments so you don't say top apartments bottom apartments moving over here would be now this is the one call out that it's not new something because they're different. So I call this library. You're like, wait, Shinobi, where are the books? If you look up, there are plenty of books here, actually. It's just that, you know, when you're playing, you don't really look at that. And for the Galahorn quest, you're actually in there. And you can see that it's, in fact, a library. So we just call this area library. Or if you want A. I uh, hear new balcony because this is a balcony new open because this is open this is a courtyard as well but saying open and courtyard are very uh, a lot better to me because if I call two things courtyards you know it, it can get a little confusing so that's why I say new open or you could just say you know out and open over here this is called Mohawk mid street so if you want to say uh, new street new mid street and then I call these uh, new boxes I call these boxes those are also boxes too if you want to be more specific then you could say bottom boxes or open boxes because they're out near the open and these are at the bottom so I call these bottom boxes uh, bottom special and also the special that is on the side over there I call that new special. So this is new bottom special, that's just new special. If you, it gets a little complicated saying new bottom specials. You could just say their bottom, you know, our bottom special. When it comes down to it, a lot of people are gonna default back to saying on our special or our, on their special. But if you wanna be more specific, you can say, you know, new monarchy side bottom special. And this is bottom street, or open street, excuse me. So this is open street. So new open street, and then going over here, dead open street, or dead street. A 
like I said, I call this mid street. Now over here, I call the instead of calling it B, you can call it B, but I call it big tree because this one's huge, and then that one's very small in comparison. So I call that small tree, and then big tree. Like if you actually look at it, it goes over the building too, or over the wall. <clears throat> um, new short. So these are little shortcuts you can go through. So new short, new door. New window. Okay. Now, some people may call this area window as well, but as, it's a lot easier just referring it to balcony because if you say somebody's on new balcony, they're going to look up in this general direction anyway, so you don't need to be super specific and say, you know, new window and then say a library. Just call it new balcony, and if somebody's running inside, you know, saying they're going towards library or library going towards new balcony and now it's the same thing like I said for the other side because it's dead orbit and it's symmetrical now this is dead court this is dead special right here this is dead cat dead cow that sounds kinda bad dead cat but dead catwalk dead window dead apartments and then dead storage is in the far back uh, dead you could just say a dead initial if you wanted to L like referring things to dead or new makes it a lot easier because you know exactly what where they're talking about if it's a 1v3 situation in trials and you're that one person and people are saying in courtyard you're just like courtyard where is there a robot here Whistle protocol broken. I had no idea that there is a robot in here this whole time sorry for that but <clears throat> yes, if you're in a 1v3 situation, then, and somebody's calling out courtyard, you're not, not sure what courtyard, or they're saying balcony, like, wait, which balcony? It's a lot easier saying, you know, dead balcony, new ba balcony. Now, the only other um, call out that's different, just like over there, where it was library, this is clearly not a library. So, I call this hangar, and this is why, because anger, that's the hangar window right there. You can see that there's a ship. This is a hangar. So call this a hangar, and then you call the other side library. Other than that, they are the exact same callouts, but just switching new to dead and vice versa. So going to dead street, you know, the other side is new street. Or bottom dead special, you know. And then this is dead open. Like I said, this is new open. And this is Mohawk again. If you have any questions, please, you know, leave me a, a comment below. These are just, again, my callouts, but callouts are, they're like their own language. And as long as you understand the language and your friends understand your language, then you guys are on the same page. Your whole fire team are on the same page. If you were to call this area, you know, just open courtyard, which I do myself sometimes because not everybody knows, you know, new, <clears throat> new open or dead open. They're like, what are you talking about? If you just call this courtyard or you call this bottom heavy, you know, if your teammate, teammates know what you're talking about, then you're, you're good to go. You don't have to go through um, and say all of my call outs because this is what I say and this is what's comfortable for me. Use what's comfortable for you. But I just wanted to give, uh, to make a video that would help out people when they play trials with me or if they're a little bit new to trials or callouts and that sense now besides callouts I'm gonna talk about a couple lanes that you wanna watch out for if you're a sniper or if even if you're not a sniper on the spawn be careful of jumping up here and going straight up to catwalk you know that people are gonna be hard scoping so unless you're a confident sniper and can you know contest this angle I would steer clear of this. This is a huge sniper area, sniper lane. Another sniper lane is from where um, bottom heavy or small tree is. A lot of people stay out. They run to the, towards bottom boxes, come out here, and they aim up high because now they're looking into your courtyard. And they have some cover at that. If they don't peek out too much, they have some cover. And also, if you have Gorilla Fighter, you can gain bonus uh, accuracy from this. I don't know if a lot of people don't know about this, but if you crouch 
at this little box. Like you can't see, but if you aim, you could peep. You kind of peek over. So you can use this for a sniper lane too. So watch these head glitches, guys. Watch these head glitches. Like you're gonna get sniped and out of nowhere, your orbs gonna be out in the open because you didn't see them. And now that res is hard to get. Okay. So another sniper lane is just the opposite. Somebody being up towards Big Tree. Because this is actually a much safer area to snipe from as well because it's a lot tighter. It's a lot tighter up here versus out there. You're out in the open. But if you're up here and you're sniping, say you're starting to get <clears throat> starting to get shot at, take cover right here. If you're trying to run out, you can just run over here and you're good to go. You're back to your team. You can even take the scenic route, come into apartments, your shield is recovered. If they're pushing in, now you have an angle on them. Okay? So those are angles I want you to watch out for. People sniping from big tree, or excuse me, small tree, towards new court or dead court, and vice versa. If somebody is in new court sniping out there, watch that lane. Watch the lane from big tree looking to small tree, and small tree looking to big tree. And the last big one that I want to talk about is the catwalk that I mentioned earlier. If you're more an aggressive player like me and using shotguns or now I'm using more uh, sidearms, just testing out the meta, changing it up a little bit for myself, you want to take the low ground. You either want to push in through here and get a leap on the radar and do not jump. If you jump up here, they're going to be hard scoping it. I know I would. If I'm sniping and I'm being more passive in my spawn, I'm just going to be looking up, waiting for them to jump up and then easy, easy kill. So if they know you're jumping up, then... And in the air, you know, you're not as accurate firing your weapon, so it's a little bit harder to contest while they're just hard scoping this small little window, and it's an easy kill. <clears throat> Excuse me. But if you're, a, like I said, if you're an aggressive player, you want to take cover while trying to push. So one push that I like to do, if I if I know that there's a guy on their catwalk and I've been you know getting sniped the whole time up there then instead I'm just gonna run over here now I run through a shortcut I come over here and then I'll force them to get out of that spot now because I'm over here granted if their whole fire team isn't here and I just know that there was one person here then I can put a bleep on the radar to at least scare them and then now you know I can just back off I don't have to commit I don't have to commit at all as long as I scare him away from that sniper lane, then my teammates can, you know, breathe easy a little bit knowing that that sniper is occupied now. If I wanted to be very aggressive, I could just push up here, go up to apartments now, you know. I'm assuming that they're going to know that I'm going to come up here. But you could throw a nade, just kind of push him out. The reason why this is a risky area is because now if they're, if he's calling out that you're in here... That's your only exit. If you go out there, you know that that person's waiting to fight you. So you're either going to fight that person, maybe being left one shot out in the open in this wide open area, or you run down here towards shortcut and you try to get the hell out of dodge. It's a it's a risky risky opportunity if you're pushing up here alone because if somebody if somebody is calling out that you're there and now they come back now all they have to do is pinch you somebody's up in there somebody's over here they're gonna call out oh yeah in apartments in apartments and now you're stuck so be careful of those aggressive pushes it's all it depends on the situation of course not every scenario is gonna be the same you may have one where <clears throat> your whole team pushes that way or their whole team stays in new courtyard so there's no way you're gonna just push into new court and then die and have your orb there you know what I'm saying uh, when it comes to uh, heavy heavy actually spawns here in elimination so be careful of that and please be aware that heavy and elimination is mostly used as bait because there's only one heavy there's only one area to look at you want to use that as bait as as much as possible you don't want them to pick it up but it shouldn't be your priority to go pick it up Use the heavy as an objective. It's an objective to that they're trying to get, but you want to stop them. 
And if you stop somebody, then yeah, you can pick it up if it's if it's clear. It's a lot different from just picking up, running over here and picking up special. You don't want to pick up heavy like you do special. You want to be mindful of it and mindful of where people are, because there's gonna be one person sniping down here. I guarantee you, if you've already played trial, excuse me, if you already played trials, and then you're watching this video, somebody's probably sniped you from this area or the opposite area up at top tree. So be careful for that, boys and squirrels. Uh, another aggressive push that I like to do if I am a shotgun runner instead of running out in the open because this is way too risky. You have a lane looking at you from there. You have a lane looking at you from up there. You may have somebody up there. And last but not least, there's this little area that people can be shooting from. From either behind the mid boxes coming out or from new courtyard. So instead of running out in the open and dying with an orb way out here and you can't do anything, I would push in mid street. Mid street, you can close them off very fast. If you're a hunter of bones on better control, I've talked about this before. If you hit your head, you will fly. If you jump and hit your head, you'll fly. It's a lot different from just jumping like this. Sure, you're going farther, but it's a lot different from hitting your head like this and flying across. So if you, on the spawn, come over to the street, just hit your head and you're flying across now. It's a lot faster. And if you have a shotgun, like I said, if you're th that aggressive player jumping out, now you're already in their spawn. And if you know that there's a person sniping there, you know, you can push them off super fast. Just something to get the bleep on the radars. Like I said, you don't have to commit because depending on the situation, if everybody's bunched up together and you're the only person out here, you're probably going to die. Just push up enough so that you can get a bleep on the radar. You know where, their teams are, where the enemy team is. And then you pull back a little bit. You're like, okay, it looks like there's one person in New Monarchy. Yeah, yeah, one, one, one's in New Court. One's in New Court right now. It looks like one's Library. Okay, then that's when you start backing up, you know. You start backing up. You know that there's one new Library. So maybe you're, you know, just kind of peeking this area now. You're backing up, you know. Things like that. I'm not going to go into it any more than that, Dojo Fam. I feel like I've talked a lot. Um, it's already been 17 minutes. So... If you already f saw the callouts and you just ended the video, cool, all good. But if you made it this far, thank you for watching. I appreciate you all, Dojo fam. Um, I Dojo love you all. You know this. I will see you in trials. And it is movie night tonight because it is Friday, as you know. So best of luck in trials in your cards. And I will see you at the lighthouse. You guys take care.